Okay, turn the light on. Ooh, that's probably better, but not for me. Hey, everybody. Alaska shooting specialties, Alaska air guns, mainly Alaska air guns. We are doing a custom bullpup today. I took this apart and I was extremely, uh, extremely taken back by the screw they put in the rear end. It is literally a three inch screw. Keith, can you give me that three inch screw that I just dropped, of course? Right under here. Yeah, I got it. All right, guys, so check it out. Turn it down a little bit. That way you turn that down a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Too much. Too Wait. much. Yeah, that's good. Sorry, right guys. There. Right Sorry, there. guys. All right. Good. Good. Check it out. All right. So putting it back together. We've done all kinds of custom work on this gun, and we can do all the custom work you possibly can think of can be done on these guns. We can do it. So, make sure I get this fit right inside here. It goes in right like that. There we go. I'm going to move that closer. Close, 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 closer, closer, closer. Go. All right. So, this is. A call from my wife and she'll understand but um this is a custom bullpup that we just finished and it is for sale in our store and i am looking for two little screws they will go in the plate on the top like this for your scope mounting um, there's a third one back here for however you want to adjust. Um, I kind of like it back because it gives you the ability to just choke up on it. You can actually put it more forward and it, it, it just depends on how you want to do it. Um. I also wanted to show you guys, I don't know if everybody knows about this, but um, a lot of people don't read the manuals. And uh, this actually is adjustable. So I can adjust the rear of it up and I can go down if I need to. So let's say we're going to be adjusted up just the same. Then we're going to take that screw that I was telling you about. First, let's put in the little side screws because that way... I know we're lined up perfectly. One little side screw right there. All right. Another little side screw right here. Right here. I'm always nervous in front of the camera. I don't know why, but I I am. I fumble around. All right. So we got the two screws in on the side. We can put the two screws in on the Picatinny rails. Get that out of the way. I think they really, really, you know, with the with the desert earth, I think it really accents it um, a lot. You don't have to do you don't have to do any fancy type of paint job or anything like that. Just do a cerakote on it, and do a flat cerakote, and it's good to go. Um, we could put a clear we could put a clear over the top of it, which would kind of change the color, but you'd lose the flat. 
not terribly, but you would lose some of the flat. It, it uh, well, it's clear. So I mean, it's going to change the color anytime you put clear over something. It changes the color a little bit. Um, so let's go to the one that about killed me. This thing, well, let me put this on first. So this is your cheek rest. Very simple, very easy for some people. <laughs> right there. Push that down, you adjust it, push it down again, you adjust it again, push it again, adjust it up another one, and then push it again, and then you can adjust it fully forward, just like that, all right? So what do you think of this, baby? Just look, just with the little bit of Cerakote work I did on it. Like I said, we did a little bit more than that to it. You have to come to the shop and see, but there's a lot of upgrades we can do. Um, I work directly, of course, as most of you know, um, with Air Venturi, one of the head sales guys there. And um, we're probably going to be getting in one of the guns that they're making. It's like a one, one of the one off guns that they're making. It's going to be, a, it's going to look like a Star Wars edition so i'll let you know when we get that it's not they hadn't produced it 100 percent yet and i don't know if, i don't know where that's going so but if we don't get it we don't get it but this little this little guy right here that plugs in right there got that covers your holes so your magazines go in here and let's go to the monster. Oh my gosh! I thought there was something. I thought there was something wrong with me. Actually, I'm like, come on. But yeah, it is a very, very, very long, long, long-winded screw, as you can see. And I wasn't turning it quite like this. I was turning it by hand. And we're still turning it. <laughs> so when I went to take it apart, I was like, something's holding it. I did something wrong. Oh, there it is. It's perfect now. So I did something wrong, and I don't know what it is. And I called people and, uh, you know, I asked him if it was the rear adjustment screw here back here that may have some kind of hold, holding uh, problems or something like that with it, but it wasn't. However, let me show you some things. Sorry about the mess over here, but this little guy right here is ready for Donnie FL. Donnie FL has done a tremendous amount for us. We thank him very much. Um, my, my American flag is not in here. And the, you can get those. They're not going to kill you. Uh, what's going on? I've lost picture. Ruh -ruh. Uh, down that. Let me see. Oh, weird. There we go. Okay. Well, I had a... Commercial come up. Want me to buy some more Googles for us? Um, so, we take the front out. We take the front out here if it wants to come out. It's going to come someday. There it is. All right. It's out. Now, look. Donnie has redesigned his front. Can you make sure that piece is off? There we go. All right. So this right here is a thread protector. As you see, and it's a redesign. So what we do is we just set this inside the system.
Are you sure these are for these? It's been posted and marked that way. Okay, yeah. I, was, I mean, I figured they were redesigned, but I... That's... that's not good. Um, interesting. I don't know what it says on the bag, but sometimes things get confused. But um, let me show you Donnie's fat boy. This shoots uh, 25 caliber. It shoots, well, it shoots 177, it shoots 22 and 25 and 30. And it is one bad little suppressor. These little screws, these little chingales, I call them, I guess. That's what we used to call them. But uh, they come out. And they go inside. They go inside here too. If you want want to block the tubes, you know, you're unable to find any, huh? Interesting. I wonder what gun that's made for. It's got to be one of the one of the other ones, one of the AEAs. Okay. Well, no big deal. We don't have it, and but we can get it within days. And it goes on there like that. Magazines. Uh, very simple. Back back. Yeah, we've got a one single shot train in it. And you got single shot tray in there. Oh, there it is, single shot tray. And then we snap that. Neat. Very audible snap too. There it is. One, if you don't hear that snap, you're not going to do it. No, no. So it won't close now. I thought you guys might want to take a look at this. We're going to be selling this amongst a lot of other things um, that are great little uh, hard to get, hard to get uh, little guns. So speaking of hard to get guns, Dave, yeah. what's this here? What is that one? What is this one? What's this? that? Is, oh my gosh. Oh that. Lord. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. This right here is a 30 caliber semi-automatic. Don't we have this? We have this. We have this in thirty caliber, what? which means which means three fifty seven. We also carry it in a semi automatic. Well, this is semi automatic. The a bolt action. HP. Well, this is a bolt action. No, that's semi. Semi, right? Yes, but the, we've got an HP Max of in thirty caliber. Also, don't we have bigger. fifty calibers like this? Uh, we have a 50 caliber. Yes, we do. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was saying. We have yes. 45 and 50. Yes. Oh, check this, baby. You guys want this one. Oh, man. This one is a hard one. This one is a hard one to get. This is the S45. Brand new from Big Ten. Look at, look at the muzzle brake on that, baby. I don't get the point very often, but <laughs> get the point at a my PC, but this thing is ready to go amongst many other things. We got, we got ammo here that, um, uh, you're only going to be able to get here. Uh, I've worked out with, uh, I've worked out with a company and we've been working on some ammos. Do you want to get one, some of that, uh, uh, steel tip stuff so I could show, I know it's kind of imprompt, but, um, that's how we do things around here. We don't have everything. We don't do retakes. We don't do, you know, why? I'm only here to sell you the guns and to teach you all the safety you po I possibly can and to make sure that you treat them like a weapon. You don't treat them like an air gun. Um, yeah. Where do you see some of this stuff? So this one here is That's 457. 457. Look. Oh, you can't see it down there. Steel tipped. 100% lead. Extremely accurate round. Uh, 
what's really cool is the other ones here coming like the 357 steel tips come in a, come in a bottle and they're full pills from the critters pills i know <laughs> you and oh he's not gonna let me forget this but i'll show you one more right here these are 30 caliber and these all work in the Air Force tremendously well. And the Umarex, uh, quite a few guns. But I have to, before we get into things, I have to thank everybody for last weekend. Last weekend was fantastic. So I have to thank um, Al Alco Bullets. I have to thank Donnie FL. I have to thank Umarex. I didn't get a hat. So if anybody from Umarex, uh sees it here dave have a hat no i'm not wearing a bald-headed <laughs> dude's hat <laughs> but i was supposed to have a hat um we gave away a lot of prizes i think it's up on the internet i know this is a long video but oh, oh lord oh and everybody that comes in and buys a gun gets a free t-shirt we have at least 80 of these to give away in all different sizes and wear it proud. Um, I'm going to grab something around the corner real quick. Just to, just to show you. Look at this. This is 50 caliber semi-automatic air rifle the hp max it is one hell of a gun it is uh, absolutely amazing and then the 40 457 you can actually shoot those 457 bullets out of it um what a deadly combination but i want to tell everybody to give us a shot you know that's my goofy slang but give us a shot come by and see us we can do custom work we can do anything you want on your guns before you have to take them or if you even have them now and have bought them off the internet i don't you know i don't have any port i have no problem you buying off the internet i wish you would keep it local but you know, you might not know who I am, and however, but um, you know, I'm always here. I'm here. I've been here for three and a half years, and we finally got the laws passed for caribou and uh, blacktail deer. That's been a lot of that's been a lot of work. Um, next year we can go, we can go. Um, hopefully, for dangerous game. You know, Second Amendment. This is my, I've taken my oath on this flag quite a few times. And uh, the Second Amendment looks like it's getting little by little being taken, getting taken away from us. And um, these air guns are a great replacement. All you have to do is come in with the cash, you buy it, you get a receipt, you're out the door. Fully suppressed. We have fully automatic. We got everything you can possibly imagine. Come by and see us. Alaska Shooting Specialties, Alaska Air Guns. Phone number is 907 315 5720. And like I said, give us a shot. Thank you. Twenty minutes. <laughs>